Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the No Quest Hardcore Iron Man. In the last one we spent 5 months to max mining and get 90 crafting so I can make myself a set of black dehyde armor together with an amulet of fury and a regen bracelet. The last two items being my absolute best in slot items pretty much forever. So I have no more excuses and it's time to go back to training Slayer. I have a task of worms in the Karum Slayer dungeon which I will be heading to and I hope you'll enjoy. I don't know if this is placebo or not but it feels like I'm getting hit less thanks to the dragon hide armor and the amulet of fury and it also feels pretty good to be regenerating two hit points per minute instead of one so I am already glad to have obtained those items before coming back to Slayer. Hi, this is actually a clip from the past. I'm in the middle of training crafting during episode 8, I think, right now. But I went ahead and took a little bit of a break because this week, Last Man Standing Competitive is an Australian world and that means very easy kills. So I decided better to take advantage of this now because Jagex is very trigger happy with locking out LMS via quest point restrictions, etc. And uh, this is a pretty important upgrade we're going to be buying. I have 81 points and that is almost exactly enough for two big upgrades. Let me just find them. Yeah, a rune pouch. This is massive, obviously, as you know. And we're also going to be buying a magic short bow scroll uh, for five points. This will let me enchant or imbue or upgrade my magic short bow whenever I make one. Uh, and now the special attack will cost 50 special energy instead of 55. Uh, I don't plan to PvP where this will probably be the biggest improvement, but it still will be pretty useful during Slayer or something. And the rune pouch is, as I said, an obvious, obvious big item. And seemingly we get rewarded for coming back to Slayer. Here's a dragon harpoon, which is very cool because... On my UIM, I cannot use this because it's not worth keeping and I always wanted to use a Dragon Harpoon at Tempro, so now I will have the means to do so, especially since Tempros should be pretty good loot for this account. Task is over, next one is Kurasks, that's pretty good, and I think it's time to work a little on our farming. I couldn't really keep up with it because we were extremely limited on lore runes, but since we did Ogres' last episode, I have a healthy stack. We are just at 50 and it would be good to start doing farming contracts ASAP and I think they require 65 to do the medium ones. And uh, I'm gonna be planting herbs. I only have access to 5 herb patches but it should still be pretty fast because we're still at the lowish levels. Oh. Looks like we only have 4 patches for now. Not doing Slayer for half a year must have accumulated some luck because we just got a leaf bladed battle axe. I plopped it in a DPS calculator instantly and we still have more DPS pretty much everywhere using the dragon sword. But this will be our new best in slot at Turofs, which I will do a lot since with no quests our task pool is pretty limited. And if I ever switch to milling Kurasks, this will be our best in slot as well. And maybe if I need to flinch somewhere, it will be best in slot too. So overall, very good to have weapon. 60 prayer. Here's 80 defense. I think I'll switch to training strength now. Together with 100 combat level. So whenever I feel like it, we can now do pest control. Here's an important level, 54 farming, that means Bologano fruit in Tithe Farm. So I think I will take a little break from Slayer and go do Tithe Farm, break in quotation marks, because Tithe Farm is probably the worst thing in the game. But I really would like to unlock Auto Weed, and if I can just steal my resolve and grit my teeth, a seed box would be nice as well, but definitely not necessary. All right, I decided to sweat it all day. Let's deposit for the last time. Here's 300 points in total, which will be enough for both auto weed and the seed box. And this entire grind took me from 54 to 62 farming, which is not too shabby. 
Since we don't have access to birdhouses, this is a nice boost in farming XP that I would otherwise get from all the tree seeds that I don't have. Gotta say, it was my first time doing Thai farm after the changes, and this is one of the few places in the game, very few, that I'm glad they straight up buffed. You don't get 24, I think it was, points per game now, you get 35 if you do it perfectly uh, which is fantastic and you can get more seeds so you don't get that feeling of well it's time for another game of tithe you can just kind of get into the flow and and do it uh, so yes it's not too bad uh, now it's just slightly annoying not the worst thing all right let's buy the seed box and let's unlock auto weed splendid it's that time again, I'm running out of torstals. The one that I have is my last one. So it's salary in the twisted time again, let's say for 10 keys. And here's the 10 torstals, hopefully that lasts a little while. Today is November 10th, 2023. And yesterday Jagex announced something pretty huge for my account. With the release of Varlamor, they plan to remove the current favor system. And after they remove it, a bunch of activities that I currently have access to will be locked behind quest requirements. So if the changes pass as they are now, I will lose access to Blood and Soul Rune Crafting, Arceus Spellbook, Tithe Farm, Mess Hall, Blast Mine, Artifact Stealing, Lizardman Shamans, and Unlocking Current Teleport. Now, out of all of those, assuming that since I already unlocked current teleport and I have it in a portal in my POH, I will not lose access to that, which I sincerely hope. The biggest hits are blood rune crafting and lizardman shamans. The other things are, well, kind of meh, especially since I already completed all the things I wanted from Tithe pretty much. Um, so my initial thoughts about this change were I was pretty pissed that they are locking something that I had access to behind requirements and now I will never probably get a Dragon Warhammer because even if I just went today and started grinding shamans the likelihood I'll get the Warhammer is very very low and uh, there is just no way I'll get enough essence to get 77 rune crafting and start using the blood altar but the more I thought about it I went to sleep thought about it uh, I don't mind getting my account restricted more and as I decided to restrict my account myself. I can't really expect Jagex to uphold the game to my standards. That's just silly. The only thing that stings a little is the fact that I, my type of account had access to all these activities for so many years and now it's suddenly changing. But as I said before, uh, if every snowflake held Jagex to a type of standard like that, then their, they, their hand would be tied uh, with updating the game. So uh yes uh a bunch of these changes don't really affect me like i didn't plan to do artifact stealing or blast mine or mess hall uh, but the two biggest ones as i said are blood rc and lizardman shamans uh let's ignore dragon warhammer for a moment the rc method if the blood rc is removed the best rc method will be zmi which requires so much essence this slows down my rune crafting rates tremendously, so I will have to think about the future of my rune crafting training. Uh, but yeah, that is all I wanted to talk about. Uh, let's hope we keep our current teleport. But I won't give up. I've decided that until they remove the current favors and they lock the stuff behind the quests, I will try to complete as much stuff that will go away as possible. So henceforth. I'm stopping the Slayer grind, which is honestly a good thing because it was burning me out heavily. We got to 75 and ever since I had to do Slayer with just 60 prayer, I wanted to log out more than play. So I'm glad to stop the Slayer grind and we're full on with our list of tasks to do before the current favors get removed in like a month and a half. And the first order of business will be coloring our graceful. The first time I read the blog, I completely skipped over the fact that coloring will now be locked behind the house quests. So I want to color my gracefuls and I spent the day running Relic Collapse for 90 marks of grace. I think I'm going to go for the white color. It's a little bit of a gamble because 
in the blog they say that the house colors will require the respective house quest and the white doesn't actually have a house but i assume it's the same logic it follows now now we require all five favors so i guess you will require all five house quests done and white is my favorite so i'll just risk it next up i wanted to make some rcus teleport tabs uh, since I'm losing access to the Arceus spellbook, I just wanted to make them. Uh, they don't have any particular uses, just niche ones. So I don't plan on making a bunch of one that I will use in a training method later. Just some that will look nice in the bank. Ruining the one RC pure. Here is a huge milestone. Level 2 rune crafting. Can't forget about the POH portals, of course. Here's freshly built Drainer Manor, Arceus Library and Mind Altar. I also want to use up all of my unsold heads, since we're losing access to Arceus spellbook that also means all the reanimation spells, and I prefer to stack all of my supplies for a big grind down the line, but we're in a use it or lose it situation, and if my calculations are correct, this should be like 7 prayer levels, so that's gonna be really nice. And the last thing I wanted to do in this episode is to come back to Tithe Farm, since it's also going away, and do some runs. And this should be 65 farming, which is a very big, important level, because at level 65 we can now enter the medium portion of the farming guild, which unlocks my last herb patch, my fifth and last herb patch in the entire game, and also Hespori, which I will start killing shortly for the bottomless compost bucket, but that is a little bit into the future, because for now, in the next episode, I will be preparing to fight Lizardmen Shamans and roll my luck. Maybe we can snag that Dragon Warhammer. So I hope to see you there. And for now, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a fantastic day. And I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.